When Rebecca and Brandon and their fellow post 9-11 servicemen and women raised their right hand and took the oath, they answered our nation's call to duty after 9-11. They also wrote a blank check made payable to the American people. They didn't know if that check was going to cost them an arm, a leg, but they did it. Everywhere we go, patriotic Americans like you here are saying, don't worry, we're going to cover that check for you. And that's what you've done here today. We couldn't do this without you. Thank you for uh, continuing to stay with us and being partners and teammates uh, on our journey of building homes and rebuilding lives. I served for 39 years, uh, retired as a colonel, but that service uh, pales in comparison to the service and sacrifice that Chief Mann has given our country. If you give the same kind of spirit of independence that she has given us through her service and giving her more independence so she can do <coughs> extraordinary things herself, uh, that's something that I think is part of this great American mosaic uh, with the values and the things we honor and, and certainly uh, you epitomize all those things. It goes without saying that, you know, without the sacrifices of Army Chief Warrant Officer to Rebecca Mann and all of our veterans, uh, we would be living in a totally different world today. The little bit we could do to, to honor our veterans is the least we could do. So we're just happy and honored and humbled to be here. We are honored to have the opportunity to give back and aid those like Chief Warrant Officer Rebecca, who has served our country, especially in a way that has a material impact on their lives. Witnessing you serve Rebecca, in turn, brings out the best in us. During the landscaping activity two weeks ago, it was truly heartwarming to see the witness people coming together and their joys in their face. I must say, it's the best party I've had since the past five months I've been in Boston. We had the music, <laughs> we had the action, the smile, and most importantly, a common purpose. I feel very humbled to be here today. I, I never served in the military. I wish the hell I did. We're very proud to be a uh, sponsor for Homes for Our Troops. We hope everybody else will. To lead off, I have the best job ever. I get to help everyone everywhere get that feeling of home. And one of the things I love about this partnership is that everything that Homes for Our Troops does aligns with that exact mission. The service and sacrifice of those in uniform, their families, they deserve to come home and have a place that is comfortable, that they like. This house is really going to change everything for you, Rebecca. Ever since I got my home and you got accepted into the program, I knew that it's everything you need and it's everything your family needs to know that everything's safe and you are able to do whatever you want to do in life. Every day I was challenged by my home's limited accessibility. Because of Homes for Our Troops, all of these challenges are behind me. My new home will allow me to live safely on prosthetics or in my wheelchair. I will be able to roll out to my backyard in my wheelchair or throw the ball for the dogs, access everything in my kitchen, having my gym on the main level of my home so I can train even if I'm having a bad day will be a huge life change. Mattapoisett is such a welcoming and peaceful community. I am humbled and honored by everyone's generosity and I am so excited to call Mattapoisett home. American people, here's your new home. Welcome. Woo! Woo!